Hi, I'm Dr. Amelia Johnston and I'm from La Trobe University. I'm a biochemist and cell biologist and my big fat idea is, what if we could create a successful treatment for cachexia, which is a weight loss and wasting disease of cancer? Cachexia is the weight loss and muscle wasting disease that's often seen in many different types of cancer, and in particular in the later stages of cancer. Up to 80% of cancer patients will suffer from some form of cachexia, and it's been estimated that 30% of cancer deaths are attributed to the presence of cachexia. The symptoms of cachexia include weight loss, muscle wasting, the loss of adipose tissue, and decreased strength. If you've ever known of anyone that suffered from cancer and had cachexia, or even if you've just seen someone in this condition, you'd know just how debilitating and demoralising the condition is, not only for the patient, but also for the families involved. So we discovered that a molecule called FN14, when expressed on the surface of cancer cells, actually causes cachexia. And this is the first time this has ever been uh, reported. We were then able to generate an antibody therapy that's able to block FN14 and we showed that it's able to then block cachexia. FN14 is normally absent on healthy and normal tissue, but it has some beneficial roles in the body, such as in the development of uh, new tissue, like muscle, and also in the repair of damaged tissue. And it's normally switched on to do its job, and then it's switched off when the job is finished. So what then happens in tumour setting is when FN14 is present, it's switched on, and it's continually switched on. So what this means is that the tumour cells then send signals uh, to the rest of the body and it's these signals that are responsible for causing the, the muscle wasting and the other symptoms of cachexia. Our findings have been based in the laboratory setting, so the first thing we need to do is translate these findings to humans. And we're currently doing this with our colleagues at the Olivia Newton-John Cancer Research Institute. And then the next step once this is complete would be to initiate clinical trials. So we're still a few years off having, you know, expecting to see a drug in the clinic. The question that we're seeking to answer is what if we could translate our findings to humans and develop a therapy that could actually treat and block the cachexia symptoms in cancer patients? What if we could give back quality of life to cancer patients that are suffering from cachexia? The idea that we could really make a difference to cancer sufferers all over the world is really what uh, drives us to do the work that we do and you know, really keeps us focused to you know, move uh, our findings you know, further towards the clinic.